This is the Mitsubishi I'm Eve. It's not a hybrid. It has no internal combustion engine whatsoever, and you fuel it simply by plugging it into a normal household power supply. It is genius. This car may be absolutely silent at low speeds and during idle cruising, but put your foot flat to the floor and it does something rather amazing. Yes, get this car out onto those quiet commuter belt country roads and you can get it to do a very good impression of a Star Wars speeder or a hoverboard or something sci-fi anyway. Brilliant! I drove past a group of teenagers the other day that were jumping up and down with excitement and shouting back to the future at the tops of their voices. You don't get that kind of a reaction with a smart car. A Mitsubishi make it very clear that this is a city car, no more. But that really, really undersells it because it has the potential to be so, so much more. You see, with rapid charge points now popping up at motorway service stations around the country, it is now, for the first time, possible to recharge a car like this within 30 minutes on your way to the coast, or the lake, or the Star Wars convention, or whatever you happen to be into. It's possible to recharge this car from completely flat in between six to eight hours on your own driveway. Now for this test, I've been putting the car on charge last thing at night to utilize the cheaper rate of electricity. Therefore, assuming an average cost of six pence per kilowatt hour, it will cost you just over a pound to charge the iMeve completely. Let me think, 80 mile range on a pound. That can't be right, can it? No, that is correct. No, 80 miles, one pound. In practical terms, it's brilliant. Because there's no engine up front, the amount of space in here is increased dramatically, allowing four full-size adults to spread out with a reasonable amount of comfort. You can even fold the back seats flat, which allows a fair-sized loading compartment. Now, if Mitsubishi ever created an open-top version of this car, the country driving experience would be perfect, because you get to hear things that you'd never normally notice, like horses and tractors in fields and even passing bees. in my mind, this is the biggest breakthrough in electrical appliances since Hoover said to his wife, I'm feeling kinky this afternoon, dear. Fetch me a cloth, a tube, then get on your knees and let's see how much filth we can suck out of our carpet. This car is perfect for everyday use around town. It's so easy to drive and park that it really is the king of suburbia. It's not bad on the school run too because you can quietly assassinate kids that you don't like. They won't hear it coming. If that's not enough to persuade you to part chop the wife's little runaround, then consider the other savings. For example, the government at the moment is giving away a plug-in car grant of up to £5,000 when you purchase one of these little cars. It's also exempt from company car tax, road tax and the London congestion charge. It can even save you money in the maintenance department because it will only require a service once every 12 months or every 12,500 miles. I believe that's because its power unit only has one moving part. So on to the downsides, and as you would expect, it does suffer from wind buffeting on the motorway. It also tends to wander a little at high speeds. 
But then you do tend to notice these things more because of the extremely quiet engine. Realistically, they are indeed very minor points. There is, however, just one huge catch. There hasn't, in fact, been a catch this big in a plan since Freddy the Fat Fisherman looked through his telescope the wrong way and set about reeling in that tiddler Moby Dick. I am, of course, referring to the fact that this car will set you back a whopping £23,990, and that's after you've knocked off the government's grant. So it is expensive, but there is some good news. Just like when you order a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, you can now specify exactly what you want in and on your iMeve. From the body graphics to the colour of the leather, even down to the colour of the stitching on your beautiful leather dashboard. Whether it will be enough to persuade buyers to part with that amount of wedge for such a small car remains to be seen, but it certainly makes the iMeve the most exclusive mini EV on the market. The iMeve is a hugely promising vehicle featuring technology that may well one day see the petrol engine going the way of the VHS VCR or four-star fuel. Unfortunately, until the support network extends and the price comes down, EVs or electric vehicles will be an uncertain prospect for many. However, it's so good, it's a chance that I, for one, would be prepared to take the iMeve. Another brilliant innovation from the makers of the Evolution. <laughs>